Hello everyone, welcome to this short tutorial in how to create a simple grass shader inside of Unity. Uh, we're gonna be using uh, vertex colors to control the amount of uh, sway in the grass. So this is the first part and here we're just gonna look through Maya, 3 Studio Max and Blender and how to create these vertex color fields. Uh, I'm Jonah Markland from KG Interactive, currently working on Echo Tales, so make sure you check that out. Okay, so let's get started. I've just imported this simple mesh of grass planes, which has been UV mapped. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hold down spacebar and go to uh, mesh display and find my paint vertex color tool. And as you can see here, it's completely filled with black. So if it isn't for you, I suggest you just Go ahead and flood it with a color value of black and uh, let's change the color value now we want perfect red so like that next up i'm just going to start painting in some red uh, in the in these top areas of the mesh I can hold down b to increase the radius here and then just go ahead go wild a bit like this uh, it's not that important to start with all right and um, when i'm done with that i might want to smooth this out so i can just go to operation smooth instead and then smooth it out like this the most important part is that you don't get any red in areas where you don't want the mesh to move so no red at the bottom and um, well that's essentially it I usually like to just create one of these blades first off and then I duplicate them and add these uh, sections in as I, as I feel it fits. And uh, okay, cool. Let's uh, take a look at a, a final one. This is what it looks like for me inside of the game. So there's nothing extremely red in these because I use the same shader for... Um, other things such as leaves as well and the leaves are going to be swaying a bit more and therefore these are less red we're gonna set up a parameter inside of uh, unity to make sure we can change it on a per material basis but i like to use a world parameter so um that's why i've done it like this cool let's uh jump into uh, 3d studio max so here we are in 3 d Max, and I've just imported this piece of grass like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the modifier list and find my vertex pane. As you can see, nothing's happened, so I have to press this vertex color display, and then I just get this flat display. I can also see with uh, with shading and such. Uh, if it isn't black, just flood it with black, so it looks like this. And you flood it with black by doing this. Generally, when you start, it's going to be filled up with white. So just 100% black, fill it up. And next up, we will switch this to 255 red and zero and everything else. And uh, we're just gonna start painting. Here you see, I'm gonna turn on this. And uh, now I just paint it out wherever I want it. And we want it on the tops like this, because depending upon how red it is, we are going to be um, getting a sway amount so we definitely don't want any red in the bottoms so you can also go here to blur all which is a very nice and handy feature and then you get sort of like a nice gradient everywhere once that's done you just remove all the red and then go over the the bottoms with 100 percent black again you can also once you're done with all of your painting just Unclick the paint, click to select vertices, select all of the vertices that are below, like here on the ground, and then just paint all, fill them with black, and that way you can be sure nothing's gonna move around down here. That's it, just disable the vertex color display and collapse. Now you can export it. Let's have a look at a finished version. Let's just add a vertex paint on this one. And here you can see what it looks like. Nothing's 100% red, but everything is just smoothed out. 
and I've chosen to do it this way because I'm using the same shader for leaves and branches as well and I have a world parameter set for how much things are going to sway and I want the leaves to sway more than the grass so the leaves are 100% red while these are just slightly red but we're gonna set up a parameter which will be on a material basis okay cool thank you let's uh, jump into blender Pico tails. All right, so welcome to the blender part. Let's uh, take a look at how we are going to paint inside of here. Uh, first of all, just go from object mode to vertice paint mode. Make sure you're in all the correct spots with solid and all of that. Uh, first thing we're going to do is just switch this to black and then we are going to set vertex colors that now it's completely black next up let's set red to one and the others to zero and uh, just paint so i'm gonna paint the top of all of these like this since i'm happy with this as you can see the the red is generally just on the on the top you should make sure when you export it that there's no red in the bottom, at least for grass, because this is uh, not a place where you want anything to be uh, waving. Uh, next up, I'm just going to switch my blend mode to, to blur and give this a nice smooth gradient everywhere. Uh, you might not want to have the exact same red everywhere, or you may want to. Uh, that's up to to you, I guess. Well, once you're satisfied, just go over everything with the black brush, um, with uh, of course with the uh, not blur anything else. Just maybe subtract, then you can't add at all. So just go around, make sure there's no black in the bottom here. I think mix might be the best one. Yeah, and just like that go over it once more all right cool so let's uh, have a look at what a finalized version would look like so here I have one of these and let's uh, select it and go to vertex paint and here you can see that it's uh, black at the bottom and has some red at the top it's not 100% red in this case because I've uh, decided to have a world wind strength in uh, in the game so for example leaves on trees have a much higher amount of red so that they'll sway more when the wind catches them so okay uh, echo tales check it out and um, let's jump into unity for part two do you love games then follow us on echo tales on facebook twitter and uh, in the db See, I use my cool voice.